Art Studio 5. Remember to like and subscribe. On today's episode, we'll be learning a little bit about Renaissance art and the Renaissance man himself, Leonardo da Vinci. During our studio time together, we'll be working on some basic figure drawing using this guy and making a creative ideas journal. Come on, let me show you how. Let's learn a little bit about Renaissance art. Renaissance is also known as rebirth. The Renaissance began in Italy during the 15th and 16th centuries and was a time of looking back and relearning what was taught during the Greek and Roman times, especially when it came to drawing the human form and creating the human figure. Here we see one of Leonardo da Vinci's most famous studies of human proportion known as the Vitruvian Man. This was created in 1487. Many paintings during the Renaissance had religious themes, such as this all-time favorite entitled The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. It was created in 1495 to 1497 and is a fresco. Mathematical principles such as perspective were applied to artwork. Paintings now had form and depth. Artists focused on light sources and shadows. Here we see the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, which is quite possibly the most famous painting in the entire world. Leonardo da Vinci is called the Renaissance man because he could essentially do all things. Not only was he an artist, but also an architect, musician, scientist, inventor, and mathematician. Here you see a self-portrait that he did of himself in 1514. The materials you'll be needing for basic figure drawing are very simple. One sheet of white paper, 8.5 by 11, a pencil, and a wooden human mannequin. Okay artists, let's get started with our basic figure drawing. What we're going to begin with is an 8.5 by 11 piece of white printing paper. You're going to match the edges and fold it in half long ways. Make sure you make a really solid good crease and open it up. Next you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut right down that crease so you have two pieces that are of equal length just like this. Now, our human figure is approximately eight heads high, and that's how we measure when we're doing proportional drawings. So we measure by head. So what we're going to do is, we're going to divide our page into eight equal pieces. So take one half of your paper, we're going to fold it directly in half, open it up. Fold it up to meet the middle crease, the bottom up to meet the middle crease, the top down to meet the middle crease, which will give us four equal portions. Then each quarter we're going to fold in half again. There we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Label your paper in the following way. In each fold, starting at the top, number one through eight on the right hand side of your page. I marked some important points on the paper that you should also add in. The first one, for example, is on the crease between 1 and 2, right in chin. Use the sample on the screen to complete the remaining helper words and pause the video if you need extra time. Now, looking at your mannequin on the right hand side of the screen, draw in the figure using the notes you made on the right side of your paper. It is very important to note where things are lining up. The arms, for example, are longer than one may think. Look at the mannequin to see that the fingertips line up at the top of the thighs. The chin, middle of rib cage, navel, bottom of pelvis, and knee should all line up to the creases where marked on your paper. Continue practicing and once you feel that you have a good understanding of the human figure and proportion, see if you can draw the mannequin without looking at the model. Compare it to the sample you just made. You are on your way to being the next Leonardo da Vinci. To practice being extraordinary artists, we are going to make a creative ideas journal just like da Vinci had. Now you can keep your ideas and sketches all in one place and carry it wherever you go. Here's what you'll need. One cereal box, three to five sheets of white paper, a hole puncher, scissors, twine, gel pens, or any other substitute you may have such as markers. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make this adorable creative ideas journal. I'm upcycling some cereal boxes and I'm going to show you how it's done. Grab a cereal box and cut out the mainframe. 
fold it in half, just like this. So you have a little card. Grab three to five sheets of white printer paper. Fold that in half as well. Put it inside. Snip the excess. Grab a hole puncher and hole punch two sides on the crease. One, two. Grab your twine. Thread it through the holes. Tie. And embellish. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Art Studio 5. Remember to like and subscribe. Sending you an Art Studio high five. See you next time.